Percussion instruments come in many varieties. One important version is the keyboard percussion. These instruments are all the same in that they are set up to play musical notes arranged in exactly the same manner as the piano keyboard in a chromatic scale from low to high. Hi, my name is Stephen Farrell. I'm the percussion director for Galveston ISD. We are here at Ball High School and I'm here to demonstrate and showcase a couple of our mallet instruments. I'm going to start off with the marimba. The marimba is made of wood, maybe rosewood like this one. Uh, it is set up just like a piano where we have naturals down low and accidentals up high. This marimba, as, long as, as well as many others, have resonators. Like right down here, a resonator uh, brings out more tone or more volume on the instrument. It has a wooden frame, also metal, made of metal as well. This is a four and a third octave marimba, meaning that it has one octave here, second octave, third octave, and fourth. And down low is my third. Okay. The marimba can be played with two mallets, like so. Basically, I'm only holding the mouse, two mouths in one hand and two mouths in the other. With this, I can play a low harmony and a high melody, like such. Also, with the four mallet uh, grip, we can use chords. We can stack them in using a perfect fifth down low. And the third and the root again up top. And with slight adjustments in my mallet distances from each other, I can change the chord once again. introduce to you is called the xylophone. The xylophone can be made of wood, plastic, or like this one, fiberglass. The xylophone being a much higher pitched instrument than the marimba will cut through an ensemble such as an orchestra or a concert band. This will be heard much like the glockenspiel or bells over many of the lower toned instruments. Uh, because of that it is used in some orchestras and other ensembles as a solo instrument. also known as the vibes. This is also an idiophone instrument. It is made of metal instead of wood. Okay? It is still set up like a keyboard or a uh, piano with our naturals down low and our accidentals up top and we do still have resonators to bring out more of the sound. The small device here gives it the vibrating sound as it turns. Another interesting part of the vibraphone is that it has a pedal attached at the bottom which, if I depress it, releases its dampeners. Dampeners run right across the middle. The dampeners will not allow the bar to vibrate. So when I hit it, with the pedal down, it lets the bar ring freely, as long as it can vibrate. When I lift back up the pedal, it stops the sound. Now I'd like to demonstrate just a couple things that can be done on a vibraphone. Personally, one of my favorites is this one, the chromatic scale. That one is a very fun one to listen to just because of all the overtones and it's just, there's so many notes going on. 
Finally, I'd like to show you the blues scale. Spiel or bells is made of metal just like the vibraphone. It has a higher range of pitches than the vibraphone. Here's a small demonstration of what the bells would sound like. This is a personal favorite that uh, all my kids at Weiss and Austin like around the Halloween time in October. Let's see if you maybe recognize it. Here's another familiar jingle you might recognize. Anybody guess? NBC. Our last instrument I'd like to introduce are the chimes. And the chimes are made of metal, tube metal to be exact. They have a church sound that you would hear maybe at church, like, the, like this. Like the vibraphone, it too has a pedal, which, if I depress it, lets the chimes move freely inside. If I let go, silence it. Okay. Here's a demonstration. This is my own personal stick bag, one of them that I had when I was uh, working on my bachelor's degree at UTA. Uh, in this bag, I have a, a variety of uh, different sticks, mallets as well. Down here I have my marimba mallets, ranging from hard to soft, softer than my softest. I have more marimba mallets, they're even softer than the ones before. Some drumsticks, here are my vib vibraphone mallets. I have timbale sticks, which do not have a tip like a snare drumstick. You can see the difference, all right? I have concert band drumsticks, that are very nice, by Cooperman. And a bunch of just various drum set sticks that I have accumulated over my uh, percussion career.